we prepare to read scripture. Let us pray. Almighty God, may your Holy Spirit breathe new life into these ancient words, that turning again to the ancient words of scripture, we might hear your living word of truth and hope. These things we pray in the name of your word incarnate, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now a reading from the Psalms. Psalm 93. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He is girded with strength. He has established the world. It shall never be moved. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring. More majestic than the thunders of mighty waters. More majestic than the waves of the sea. Majestic on high is the Lord. Your decrees are very sure. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Greetings. Psalms has always been one of my favorite books of the Bible. Many of the Psalms are songs of praise and thanksgiving. Psalm 93 is a short but powerful song emphasizing the reign of God and his triumph over all opposition. This psalm reminds us that God is indeed king and is 100% in control. When Reverend Cassie Waits contacted me about participating in the Wednesday meditations, she asked me to reflect on what I am thankful for today. I'm not sure there's enough time to adequately cover that topic, so I would like to focus on the FPC Neighborhood Ministry. When Joe Bryce asked me to lead this new program last summer, we had no idea of the need that this could fill. The coronavirus was not even on the radar screen. We recruited a half dozen enthusiastic team leaders and launched a pilot program in the fall. After finding success with the pilot program, we began to recruit additional leaders to cover almost 60 neighborhoods. As the coronavirus evolved and we entered the lockdown period and social distancing, we felt that the FPC Neighborhood Ministry could help fill a void of not being able to gather. We are asking the neighborhood leaders to stay in touch with their households and provide valuable feedback as congregational needs are realized. We are grateful to leaders such as Mary Varela, who keeps us up to date with how the residents at Wynwood are faring. We also have a team of volunteers who have volunteered to run errands, provide transportation, and help with light repairs, particularly for our elderly community. We have mental health resources to assist those who may be dealing with the negative impacts of isolation, addiction, and other mental health issues. I am so thankful for each and every person who has stepped up to take a leadership role in the FBC Neighborhood Ministry. You are serving to meet a critical need, communicating with our members. I am thankful for all of the volunteers, and I am thankful for the leadership of our pastoral staff. We are truly blessed in so many ways in spite of this pandemic. In these challenging times, we can have confidence that our Lord God loves us unconditionally. Although the world is out of our control and the world seems out of control, God is all powerful and majestic and he remains in total control. I wish you blessings. Having read Psalm 93, I did a little reflecting and I've actually started to wonder if I've ever actually have experienced God's majesty. It seems to me that it would be something that at this point may simply be beyond my experience. Now, I've certainly experienced the majesty of God's creation. Uh, whenever I look up at the night sky or I'm uh, up in the mountains, it's very easy to get a glimpse 
I think, of what God's majesty is like by looking at what he created for us in this world and in the universe of billions of stars beyond it. But I think, for me, the idea of God's majesty is something that I simply don't know if it's something that I will personally be able to fully appreciate until after um, this life, I suppose. But I would imagine that it would be something like God's creation on steroids. I imagine that it would be something of truly spectacular proportions. Uh, I would say probably the closest I've ever personally been to experiencing God's majesty, even in a tiny, tiny little bit, uh, would probably be at the moment of the birth of my children. Um, but that wouldn't necessarily be majestic in the sense of a massive glowing light outshining the sun, but rather uh, the majesty of what God can do. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but um, that's where I'm at. I certainly uh, love to get a glimpse of God's majesty, like I said, when I'm standing on a mountaintop or by the endless, endless ocean. Uh, I can't even imagine how much better uh, God's majesty will be when it is fully unveiled um, at some point in my future. Um, that's it. That's my, I, my thoughts on the matter. So what are you grateful for? During all this chaos and uncertainty that is in the world right now, I know our church has talked about staying grounded in our faith and how our faith can overcome our fear and give us a resolve that nothing else really can. I think part of shoring up our faith, or at least mine, is staying real and aware of our reality right now. I particularly think that it's important to keep a good beat on the blessings and things that we're grateful for that the Lord has given us. Times like these where jobs are disappearing and things are shaky can challenge us and push back against the hope and love that the Spirit gives us during this time. But praying to the Lord for strength and especially gratitude can help us persevere and bring hope back to us through all of this mess. So what are you grateful for? I know for me, I'm grateful for my own health. I haven't been sick in all this, knock on wood. Um, the, mo the worst that I've got it is I had some allergies flare up when I was shaking some bushes around, doing some stuff in the yard, but that was the worst. And I knew it wasn't the coronavirus because it was in my eyes. I'm also grateful for my family's health and that the loved ones outside of my family are healthy too. Um, I'm thankful for the beautiful weather. Um, it's currently gray outside at a, here in Ackworth, so it's not necessarily beautiful today, but I'm still grateful for the rain. Here at the Hills House, we have a vegetable garden, and so we'll, we will welcome the rain gladly every time we get it. So I'm also grateful for financial aid. As some of you know, I'm going to seminary in the fall, and the amount of financial aid I've received from the school and from outside sources has been, has given me a peace of mind that has just overwhelmed me with calmness so that I can focus on studying and being the best leader I can going through seminary. Um, I also know that I'm grateful for the church. I know that we all can feel alone sometimes in all of this. I'll put away in our houses. Um, but it's important to know that we're all part of a loving body of Christ and that we can all, we all should feel together despite that and feel like we can reach out to each other and love each other right now. Even as things open up, I know some of us are afraid and maybe fearful. And so we stay locked down just to be safe, but we should know that we have each other even when we are alone in our homes. I hope this finds you well. Thank you for listening, and God bless all of you.
Today, let's remember that we are not alone, that we are part of a story that is much longer and greater and bigger than anything that we could ever imagine on our own. Together, let's pray the words of St. Patrick. I bind unto myself today the strong name of the Trinity by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three. I bind this day to me forever by power of faith, Christ incarnation, his baptism in the Jordan River, his death on the cross for my salvation, his bursting from the spice tomb, his riding up the heavenly way, his coming at the day of doom, I bind unto myself today. I bind unto myself today the virtues of the starlit heaven, the glorious sun's life-giving ray, the whiteness of the moon at even, the flashing of the lightning free, the whirling winds, tempestuous shocks, the stable earth, the deep, salt sea around the old eternal rocks. I bind unto myself today the power of God to hold and lead, God's eye to watch, God's might to stay, God's ear to hearken to my need, the wisdom of my God to teach, God's hand to guide, God's shield to ward, the word of God to give me speech, God's heavenly host to be my guard. Christ be with me, Christ be within me, Christ behind me, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort me and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger. I bind unto myself the name, the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one, the one in three, of whom all nature has creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word. Praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. Amen. This has been a ministry of First Presbyterian Church of Marietta, Georgia. Join us as together we change lives with faith, hope, and love. For more information, go to fpcmarietta.org. Thank you and have a blessed day.